well, it's never too early, right, to take a look if those were who the top picks were of who the top picks are going to be. So in next year's draft today, Jonathan Gavoni released a new mock draft with the college basketball Ooh. season getting underway this week. Chet Holmgren and Paolo Bacero are the top two picks in his mock, and that's followed by Jalen Duren, Jabari Smith, and Jaden Hardy. So I'm so glad, Schmitz, that you are here. Kirk, I'm going to just bring you <laughs> this way. You see the jaw? Still yeah, got it, Perk. Dark. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> light. It's yeah. light. It's light. It's light. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit more about those prospects with Mike and Kendrick. And Mike, you think that Chet Holmgren and Paolo Banchero are a one and a two? Yeah, this is a two-man race right now. I mean, both of these guys are number one caliber prospects. And really, Chet is like if you combined the good parts of Kristaps Porzingis with the best parts of Evan Mobley. Like he's that special of a prospect and highly unique. And we're going to break down his game on the defensive end and on the offensive end. So look at the stance and pick and roll, all right? He understands. Keep his head in line with the ball. His teammate gets back cut. Look at the instincts, the length. And then he's not done. He played his high school ball with Jalen Suggs. You can see some of the influence there with the outlet. He's got a tremendous feel for the game. Yes, he's skinny. He is not soft, okay? That's where he's different than Porzingis at the same stage. He will throw his weight around. He's got a little bit of nasty to him that I love. And then offensively, he can really shoot the ball, which is going to force these hard closeouts. Then he can attack that, get downhill. So you're going to see him handling the ball in space, creating for others. He's that unicorn style big. And Bancaro, Bancaro is a little bit different in that sense. Paolo is a guy who can really score the ball inside the arc, okay? He can create space. If you put a big on him, he can take you away from the hoop and shoot it off the bounce. If you put a small on him, he can get to that mid-post game, back shoulder fade here. So he's got the body of a young Julius Randle, a young Blake Griffin, but the mid-post game of a Carmelo Anthony, of a Jason Tatum. He's got that type of footwork and touch. And by the way, he is a load in the open court, okay? And it's not just the physicality, it's the vision there, the kick out to the open teammate doesn't knock it down but leads to the tip dunk so he's incredibly polished he's a guy who's going to be 20 and 10 at Duke but I still give Holmgren a little bit of a higher upside perk what do you think what translates who do you love who do you hate let's hear it. well I'm gonna say this this is why I call him money Mike because he's always on money and listen to all the organizations out there he's taken he's not available <laughs> he's married to he has he's ours. but I tell you what look when you look at these guys and I, and I was talking to you before this we're not going to mess names up. I'm going to talk about the young man from Duke. I love his versatility. I love the dog that he has in him, this mid-range game. And he's not afraid to get nasty in the paint. When you look at shit from Gonzaga, I love his awareness, the mm. way he's able to block shots, keep them in play, mm -hmm. and then have vision down court to make the pass. That's huge in the NBA. Scouts look for that. You know that, Mike. Outlet passes, getting out in transition. So, Mike, if Chet and Paolo are just one and two and two and one and we're flip-flopping them back and forth, then who's coming in third for you? For me, it's Jaden Hardy. He's playing with the G League. Now, you're not going to see him, you know, on big college basketball games because he's already playing with pros. And yep. to me, he's the best scorer in this draft. Think Bradley Beal with him, okay? 6'4", six, 6'5", six, shoots it from deep, okay? Hang dribble pull-ups, step backs. He's trained with Damian Lillard. He's trained with James Harden. So he's got that type of shot make ability. And here, don't you go under these handoffs. That is a no-no, okay? You better switch that or stay attached to him because he is unconscious from three. He's struggling a little bit out of the gates right now, yeah. but he's the modern NBA guard, and I think he's got an incredible upside. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.